Hello, McCain. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Okay, guys, you can hear me on the mic, but there's like stuff going on in the background, like building stuff, so it's fine. It's my 21st birthday next week, so by the time I post this video, it'll be my birthday, so happy birthday to me. Yeah. What is a big lesson that you've learned as at 20 years old? I think just I've been working a lot in my 20s. I've been grinding i have been grinding in the sense of working a lot as you know i'm christian a lot of church stuff happening building my small group just a little church stuff i feel like basically my 20s i've i don't know why it comes off from being super like daunting and da, 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 da. i'm happy to be 21 like i'm actually such a blessing that i'm actually get to have another year added to my life like what a blessing and like it's an opportunity literally turning a new year on your birthday is literally like another opportunity to just go for the things that you want to go for just mm. literally just chase after your dreams and be happy and just yeah, like, what's the point of living another year in the same, like, just going through the same stuff? Like, I want to, when I'm turning 21, I want to just go even hard, harder other things I want to chase after. If that's career-wise, my mental health, being more happy. Um, yeah, just doing the things that I want to do and love and not caring, like, who's around me or not caring, like, who's supporting me or whatever it is. Just going for the things I want to go for, yeah. If we could go deep in this one, yeah. like, if you want to share, what is something that was your biggest struggle it could be spiritually mm. or it could be in any area of your life that you, your biggest struggle at 20 you could be very honest i think my biggest struggle at 20 um I think faith-wise was just like I guess just being really lazy, which I, I kind of made like a like what's the word um, comparison because I just said like oh, I've been grinding a lot, but at the same time I've been working a lot, which because I'm working so much on the physical stuff, my spiritual side doesn't really get um, tended to. I don't really like work on that stuff, so I think that's a massive lesson and something that I need to work on when I'm like when I'm 21 is to like, yeah, I'll do the physical side, working on my career, do, do what I want to do, but also taking care of my mental health and my physical health, yeah. You're a social media guy, right? Uh, of course, yeah. Yes, <laughs> okay. Course, yeah. So what are your goals social media wise this year? My goals social media wise, um, continue to post to YouTube, like I'm posting today, like now you're watching me right now. I want to really just make content that's really relevant and real and authentic. Mm. Obviously everything to do with social media is like copying each other or, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that's like a cycle of, making content, hopping on the trends, all that kind of stuff. But obviously still hopping on trends, but keeping it to myself and keeping my values. I'm not trying to, you know, make myself be like someone else for so people to like me and follow, and follow me on Instagram, on YouTube. Like just being authentic myself. And I think that's the best way, especially if I want to grow. I don't want to grow and people like me for a fake version of me. Like I want to grow being the real me. If you could collab with anybody this year, Ooh. who would you collab with? It could even be Christian YouTubers yeah. or it could be non-Christian YouTubers. That's a really good question. I want to do more collabs. I think that's definitely something that I'm going to definitely like pray into going into this year is like giving me more, giving me more opportunities, God. Like opportunities that's going to, you know, put me in situations that's going to be vulnerable, but also just opportunities where I can really just grow in my skills and my talents and my communication skills. If that's being on camera or where cameras are not, when cameras are not there, when I'm public speaking, or whatever it could be, just really just, yeah, growing in that area. I think the person, um, the things I actually don't really know right now, like I have people that inspire me who, I got a couple of people that inspire me who I follow and like, I want to try, you know, be like or look like in the future. But I think currently, I don't know. I think it's more of just, I want to go into opportunities where hopefully I'll meet people that I can collab with and do real life with, yeah. So like, what is one opportunity that you haven't told your viewers that you would like to do when you're 21? I guess just be on more podcasts, just yeah. be on more like, like TV shows. Like I had an opportunity a couple of years ago to go on like um, on TV to the TV thing. Being able to actually like in my church, like communicate more in my church and just do a lot of other things that's like stretching me, I guess, and just growing me. Yeah. So where do you think you're traveling to when you're 21? I really want to go to Paris, the thing is, like, I never travelled on a plane before. For those that shots, wow, you never travelled on a plane before and you're turning 21, what the heck? But, I don't know, not everyone has an opportunity to, to, to travel, but because I'm turning 21 and I'm um, earning actually the mo more money than I ever have in my life, I feel like I would definitely want to go. I also live in London, live in the UK, so um, I think a good place that's local, that's close, is Paris, France area, so I think that could be a really good place that I could travel to. Exploring the planet I'm on, I mean, I want to travel the best I can. God put me, put me on this earth, not just to stay in one city all my life. Like I want to, you know, visit the, visit the planet that I've been born on. Like, what's the point of just staying in one city or one location? Like, 
if no matter what my circumstances are like I think everybody no matter if you're obviously if you're earning money and you're poor and you're broke you can't really travel as much but you can at least like it sounds super cringy but go down a new street or like go uh, go to a new you know shop or whatever like you know you can do new things that's gonna like you know open your mind up so yeah I just wanna I think turning 21 I wanna experience other cultures I want my mind to be opened up I don't wanna just have the London you know vibe or in, like I wanna understand other people and I think the more you understand other people the more you can like understand yourself obviously I'm a Christian I'm gonna keep to my Christian my faith values but you know seeing how old people live could like even inspire me to live a bit different you're Kane right now this yes. is two weeks before you my turn birthday. your birthday turning 21, 21. Yes. okay this time next year okay you're 21 you're gonna be 22 22 so what is what is that cane gonna look like oh hopefully that cane is gonna look like driving in a car hopefully hopefully no even hopefully i will be driving in a car be more active going to the gym um that cane is gonna look like just literally just more in love with obviously my faith with jesus with god that cane is gonna look like just more in love with my career and actually not just saying things or saying on a post posting and actually seeing the fruit of what i'm doing if also i'm a christian obviously the bible says obviously in god you know wants us to share i share the love of god with other people all around the world so just growing in all areas honestly i mean like this time last year i have been completely changed like i've met so many more friends i've done so much more stuff i've had more opportunities in life so yeah lots of us happened so just continue to grow and grow and grow i mean for, the, for my friends that know me close like i'm not somebody that's stagnant like i like like continue to move and move and move like i don't like just being stagnant or being in one place so yeah kane if you're watching this and you're and you're turning 22 or you're 22 now um, I hope you're doing these things and bro, if you haven't done these things, there's grace, there's still room for improvement. But I hope that you'll have your car, I hope that you continue to grinding, I hope that you're posting way more YouTube videos and Instagram videos. And I hope that just church-wise that you're growing and stuff and you're really growing spiritually. And I hope that, yeah, you're just staying happy and just staying true to yourself. And yeah, I hope Mum and Dad and Leo are doing well as well. Cool, do you think that's it? Cool. And then, yeah, I think that's it really. Yeah. Cool, shall we cut it?